Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about working with their O2 feedback control in our AEM Pro software. So when we're doing our tuning, we're gonna have to have a wideband installed on our vehicle. Now more than likely, we're gonna have it wired into our AEM Series 1, and if we do, we're able to watch what our wideband's showing us when we check data logs, or if we're looking at our laptop screen, we're gonna be able to see our air fuel reading. Now we can take things a step further and use this O2 feedback control. It's gonna be looking at what the wideband is reading and comparing against a target air fuel map. It's gonna figure out the difference and then either add or subtract fuel to get us back to the target that we program. It's actually a really simple system and it's a really awesome feature to use whether you're gonna be using it for doing your tuning on your main fuel table or more of a long-term control so it can vary the fuel delivery to the engine as we go through day to day or different elevation changes. It can keep your tune much more consistent. We'll find that most OEM manufacturers run some kind of a short-term and a long-term fuel trim and the same idea as what we find in here to correct for minor differences from the programming that's done from the factory PCM. So without further wait, let's jump into the video so we can check all this out. Okay, so let's get started here. We're going to be taking a look at working with our O2 feedback control in our AEM Pro software. Now we're going to be using the O2 feedback control to help us uh, tune our main fuel table as well as keep our fuel delivery and our fuel mixture, air fuel ratio, consistent day to day and even different points of operation in the year. So we're going to find as the temperature varies outside, it can definitely swing our air fuel because our air density changes and um, we're going to have to make some adjustments to keep it consistent. And this is going to allow us to do that. So the first thing I'm going to do here is create a custom page for the software. We can find all of our icons up at the top here. I'm going to be inserting an icon between my injector and my spark plug here to give me uh, a little bit of a break as I'm going through my fuel tuning. Um, having a different page here and a different icon is going to uh, very, very quickly and very easily use this feature. You're going to probably want to jump into using it um, a decent amount during your tuning session. Uh, you're able to tweak the target air fuel table and other parameters as you're working with this and tuning. So the first thing I'm going to do here is go into templates, go into configure. I'm going to go down here on the bottom to add, click add, and then we're going to be moving down the list here and looking for O2 sensor feedback. We can find the template page is available right here. Let's click open. Now we're finding that we have our icon and our page that are going to be for O2 sensor feedback. Now the icon is going to be peering. If I simply clicked OK right now, it'll peer 